before we even get started with RoboCell, let's go over a couple things. Um, the first thing you might want to do is to make a folder, have your students make a folder called RoboCell or whatever you want, but inside that, make an additional folder for every program that they're going to write. And Project Lead the Way has activities A through H, so I have the students make a folder. It's just they're folders within folders. Um, and the reason for this is as you save um, something in RoboCell, it saves four files. If they save them into these files, into these folders, it'll make it easier to organize later on. Uh, just a little word to the wise, because if you delete or move any of those files, you're going to be in big trouble later on and your, your, your programs won't work. So make sure you have that done. Um, another thing that I wanted to point out is that there is an order of operations. So in RoboCell, you just want to start with making the cell and cell setup. Then you start a new project, you import the model, you record and teach the points, and you write the program. Okay, so those are the steps. So make the cell and cell setup. The first thing you're going to do is open a program called Cell Setup and you're going to actually make your cell. So this is step one. You make the cell and cell setup. You'll see how to do that in a separate video. Step number two is start a new project in RoboCell. Then what we're going to do is open up the actual program called RoboCell and we're going to say file new project and it opens up this window. So now we have a new project in RoboCell. The next thing we want to do is import the 3D model. So we're going to go to File and import the 3D model. That's the, the thing we just made in Cell Setup. And that will bring in our 3D image. What we can do now is go to Window, Simulation and Teach and it will put everything in a nice neat uh, orderly fashion. The next thing we're going to do is record and teach the points. And we're going to use this box to do that. So it can be as simple as typing in a position number and hitting the record button. And whenever we hit this record button, wherever the robot is in this picture, that position will be recorded as that position number. So we move the robot around and record the positions. And we use this box over here to move the robot around. So the next step after you import your 3D model and you record and teach the points is to actually write the program. And we're going to write our program in this area over here. The commands that we're going to use are in this box right here. Notice you want to be in pro mode because when you're in pro mode you'll have so many more commands and we can use all these commands. We have all these commands, access control and we also have program flow and inputs and outputs to program our robot. For simple programming everything you need is right across the top here and it's as easy as this. If you want to open the gripper double click it shows up there. Uh, same thing right here. Um, if you want to go to a point, you add the point in here after you've recorded it, tell it what speed to go, say OK, and it will put it in here. So for instance, if I record point 2, I want to now go to position 2. I can choose 2. Let's say I want to go fast, say OK. It puts it in there. Um, to delete one of these, I can click on the one that I want to delete and I can uh, delete it by clicking on the delete button. If I want to add a line in between, I go to the line below and I can then go to a command and it will put it above where the blue line was. So in summary, make the cell and cell setup, start a new project in RoboCell, import the 3D model, record and teach the points, and then you write the program.